Hi, my name is Amy Glavin. I'm a rowing filmmaker from Philadelphia. And in this video, I'm going to give you my tips and tricks to daily vlogging. On my way to rowing practice at Boathouse Row. Because in 2019, from January 1st to December 31st, I vlogged for an entire year. So in this video, I daily vlogged again. Happy October 1st. Hopefully this video is published on October 2nd. And I went through a normal day in my life and I vlogged it, which I have not done in a fairly long time. Got GoPros on GoPros. <laughs> Is it working? So here is my first big tip. Have fun with it. Embrace that you're vlogging. <laughs> hey, look how pretty we are. Morning sunlight. You know, a lot of people get very sheepish and they just film from the side. And I say a lot of people, I mean me. I was just filming from the side. I wasn't having as much fun with it. I wasn't getting other people involved. What a morning. Which is huge, just enjoying it yourself. Do you have any tips for people who daily vlog? Tips for people who daily vlog. I barely understand the vlogging world as it is. Uh, you don't like just holding it out and being like, so up YouTube. <laughs> Ryan might have a perspective. Ryan, do you have a perspective on daily vlogging? Uh, I like daily vlogs. Yeah? Yeah. Actually? Yeah, no. Matisse Thibel, one of the Sixers players. Okay. He won in the bubble last year. It was pretty sick. I'm not funny, so you don't... <laughs> I'm not funny either. You know what I do like? I do like stop motion videos. Stop motion video? That takes so much time. I saw a guy who vlogs <laughs> Lego is, stop motion. This is oh, so yeah. unhelpful. Really so this morning when I went out to row, I was playing around with my camera Aww. and with my friends and we were just making jokes and cracking <laughs> jokes. You know, you don't want to invade people's privacy, but you want to definitely <laughs> make them feel comfortable and trust that you're going to oh, yeah not sh oh, embarrass yeah, them sorry. intentionally <laughs> unless you're like David Dobrik. My next point, shot variation. Shot variation is so key. That could be literally you in different locations telling the same story and then cutting between them using some point of view reference like when you're walking along and opening doors and then seeing people sitting like this in the A-cam setup where you're just talking to the camera. That could be flying the drone. Bye chat. I'm gonna fly a drone to get some cool shots of Philly in the morning, set the scene. Great. What you doing? I'm doing a daily vlog, but of how to. It's a very pretty morning out here on Boathouse Row. All the teams practicing this right here. That's Penn. Everyone's just out here getting some practice in. Nice Friday morning. Let's focus back on my face. It's pretty lovely out here. What's not to like? I'm driving home off to do some editing, client work. You don't have to be Casey Neistat. You don't have to set it up, walk back, drive up to it, and then go away. Like, you don't need to do that. It. It's unnecessary. It's just his style that he enjoyed doing. Cinematic? And it separated him from other people. So what are you gonna do to separate yourself? So for instance, today, I had a GoPro on the boat, a GoPro in my mouth. I had drone footage. I had phone footage. I've had camera footage. So all these different types of shots, I'm gonna intermingle them quickly and story tell my day in doing something interesting, relatively, for me, kind of interesting. For other people, super boring. Come on. Bone ape 
kid. I took one bite. Recording from this. And I forgot to clear the card this morning. Ugh. Another tip, make sure you clear your cards after exporting or importing all your stuff. Story is king, obviously. Why would people watch this video? What are you doing that's going to make people want to watch? Really important that you are providing something. And maybe that's just, this is what it's like for an up-and-coming entrepreneur. Or for me, this is what it's like to be rowing, coaching, and trying to do freelance videography. So when it comes to Story is King, try and create a storyline for the day. What are you trying to overcome that day? Are you trying to get more clients, jump off the side of a cliff, hit as many baseballs as possible? It doesn't matter, make it interesting by making it personal to you. So today was, can I get all these things done while daily vlogging, coaching, and trying to make this video all in one day. My goal is to finish this by 12 a.m. We'll see. Okay, two cameras on me right now where I can flip back and forth between them. So on my right hand, the Canon EOS R and the 15 to 35. And in my other hand, I'm using a GoPro Hero 9. So this is much lighter. And behind me, you can see my editing setup. Hopefully over the next couple hours, I'll be able to properly explain the ways in which to daily vlog. So I'm switching between lenses here and here. More depth of the field here, everything's all in focus. So there's definitely ease of use difference, but when I go to edit, I spent a whole year editing off of my laptop. And now I've got a dual screen setup. There's a lot of things I wanna talk about when it comes to daily vlogging and tips, but I need to actually get to editing uh, client footage, it's actually for Hudson. So I'm gonna set up a time lapse behind me for a different cam camera angle. So I gotta, I gotta get to work on that. So time lapse. So one of the things that I did to make it easier on myself is I used my phone and a GoPro. Those two cameras were basically the only things I used all year. You know, my phone is always on me, so I was always able to whip it out to get the shot. The GoPro is what I put on the rowing boat so that I could record the practices. And I did get a drone for some aerial shots, but I always really like drones and that's definitely not necessary. So all these things that you need, like, oh, you need a really big lens with shallow depth of field, you don't need them. The phone is one of the best cameras nowadays. I've personally upgraded because I wanna be able to do certain things because it's my job and I like playing with new equipment like that and getting to know it and using it, but it's not important to the story. All right, I'm off the coach. Uh, I've got to drive all the way to the river again. Not quite into Philly, but I got to all the way through traffic. So as I drive a lot, I'm usually just bumping to music. And this is one of the songs that I used in my daily vlog series back in the day, and it's hype. Here it is, the Kajahawken Rowing Center in all its glory. Okay, so I have coaching for the next two and a half hours. I will switch to the GoPro so it's less conspicuous and I'll probably use some phone footage out on the lunch. Very boring for most people, but for me, that's my sport, it's what I do. Okay, to the GoPro. This one's mine, my baby. What's up? Hey. Time to coach. Oh, you already unlocked it. You gotta put that in. Twist. Lovely day. Well, I wasn't able to actually fly the drone because Biden's home this weekend and the radius is like 30 miles or something. So, too bad. Get Chipotle on the way back and start editing the daily vlog. After I do a talking head going over all the points of which I've been focusing on today, like just having fun with it. There it is. No, put the burrito in. There we go. Delicious. For 
my final portion of the day. I'm gonna record my talking head with all my tips and lay out how the day went and what I was focusing on. So, on to that camera. So once you've filmed the whole day and you've gotten very comfortable with your cameras, you have created content that you can actually work with, uh, time to edit. So I'm here downloading all my footage right now onto a hard drive. I took a lot more than usual. When it comes to editing, you really need to have a system because you don't want to spend five hours editing. You want to spend an hour, hour and a half most. You need to give yourself time every day to craft the storyline, export, and start the publish to go up the next day if that's what you're doing. When I edited, it took me between an hour and two hours depending on how much content I was creating. And so I got very used to using Final Cut. And you don't need this whole large setup. You don't need this. I edited off my laptop for the entire year. I used an external hard drive, cranked out as much content as I could using the same format every day. You don't have to do that, but it does help. So when you're editing, get to know your software. Learn the keyboard shortcuts. There are plenty of YouTube tutorials. Download templates, create your own template and use that all the time. I would just duplicate my project from the day before, delete all the stuff from inside the project that was of that day and put my own day in and then edit it to a song. I use a subscription service to Epidemic Sounds personally, but I know that you can use no copyright sounds, SoundCloud, find a streamer's YouTube playlist like Ludwig. I love listening to those songs. Going through the process of editing is you know, cut what's boring. Just cut. try and get the viewer's attention through the entire video. Say you're gonna do something at the end of the video and build up to it. As you build through your story throughout the day, the edit should kind of come to the crux, the denouement, like what is about to happen. So those are the main tips. The filming during the day, the editing at night, and it, you just need to embrace that you're going to be bad at the beginning. You're going to have to build into it and get used to it. And then once you've done it a week, maybe two weeks, then you're gonna be comfortable. You'll still feel embarrassed vlogging in public. I always do. I always get very sheepish. Embrace it. Who cares? Just do it. Just try and have fun with it. You just need to start. The filming requires you have cameras that you can use, so just use your phone or a GoPro. I highly suggest if you're going to invest in your equipment, invest in audio, then video, and then move on from there. It's way better to have good audio. Publishing is a whole nother art form. Try and create a thumbnail that's not just a screenshot from the video uh, and give the title something interesting like why would people click this? Like, here's how I ran a sub three hour marathon or failed to run a sub three hour marathon. That's one of my best vlogs. It is my best vlog. Set a goal and stick to it. I decided that I wanted to do 365 videos in 365 days. And there were some days I was behind and a couple weeks where it was really tough. There's a lot of times when you don't wanna do it, but that was the goal. I wanted to finish and I did it. I created that many videos, which was awesome. I'm super proud of that. And I've moved on to a bigger, different type of project. One that is still taking a full year, but is not being published every single day. Just accept that the first few will suck. You have to embrace it. You're not gonna be good unless you do it consistently all the time. There are some people who are naturally gifted on camera, can bring people in and have fun with it, and there's other people that have to work for it. Both of them still have to set up the camera and hit record. And finally, just provide some entertainment or information about what it's like to be you. You are a unique person. Treat yourself like that. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, it was kind of weird to go back to vlogging during the day and daily vlogging and hopefully over the next few hours I'll be able to edit this video and put it together and publish it for tomorrow. So happy October 2nd when this gets published hopefully. I'm gonna go stream me editing this now. So thanks for watching. See ya. Yee. What a morning. Sick.